So it leaves us, right? So, no, it's I mean, not. Our souls don't cause our thoughts. Oh, does it not? No, no. So it won't cause our thoughts because... Well, it could be a myriad of different things. I mean, it could be the soul, that could be one aspect of it, but it's not just the soul. For example, in the Quran, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا قَدَ الْإِنسَانِ وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ بِهِ نَفْسُهُ We have created a human being, and we know what his own self whispers to itself. Yeah. That's why some people ask, in Ramadan, if the, if the devils are chained up, why is it still that we have bad thoughts? Do you get the question? Yeah. So if the devils are chained up, and some say, well, the, the big ones are chained up, the small ones are not, or all that stuff. But the truth is, the reason why we have bad thoughts is because we are, that's our bad, that's the residual effect of our conditioning in this world. Yeah. It's not just the whispers of the shaitan, yeah, for example, that cause us to have bad thoughts. It's also the whispers of our own self. That's why the Quran says, وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانِ We have created a human being. وَنَعْلَمُ مَا تُوَسْوِسُ بِهِ نَفْسُهُ And we know what his own self whispers to himself. So there's two kinds of whisperings. The whispering of shaitan and the whispering of your own self. So whatever's happening in your mind, the bad spirit, the anger, all those things that are happening, you think, well, why is it happening? It's Ramadan, I'm meant to be fasting, the, chain, the devils are meant to be chained. That's because that's, how, that's who you are now. It's, Ramadan's a good time to show what kind of person we actually are, like, with, without the effect of the shaitan. That's who you are now, yeah. you see? But anyway, it's, it's, it's not the case that it's just the soul that causes the thoughts. It can also be the nefs. It can also be the heart. I mean, recently in science, they've discovered that the heart has 40,000 neurons. There's even, a, there's even a thesis called the Heart and the Brain Thesis, yeah. which is the Heart Math Institute in California have peer-reviewed work on it. That the heart can actually understand information straight away from, from exter external uh, yani, reality. The physical heart can't Yeah, but even the brain. No, it can. That's what they're saying. The physical heart. The physical heart. The, uh, even the gut has 100,000 neurons. The stomach. When people say I have a gut feeling, there's some truth in that. Neurons. So that's what I'm saying, that I'm, I'm, I'm quoting a peer-reviewed journal, that's what they're saying. They are saying. That's why they, they do some heart transplantations recently, yeah? And then the, the, the person that, that has had this kind of life before, whatever life it is, his heart goes into the, your heart, yeah, for example, and then you start having their thoughts. You start liking something that you never liked before. Obviously the brain as well has, I don't know, like a billion neurons or whatever, right? But the point is, is that all of that causes thoughts. But I thought like the hard problem of consciousness is that physical, physical material can't cause... Like not, not thoughts. It's about consciousness, not thoughts. So what's, what's consciousness? Okay, it's, it's a state of being aware. It's a state of being, even being alive and aware. It, it, consciousness precedes thoughts. But a robot would never be able to have a thought. No, no, but that, look, we have to understand what a thought is. Yeah. It's if, if a thought is information that is stored, a, a robot does have that, in fact. If I take a picture now on my phone, that's information that's stored. But what a robot will never be able to do is have a first-person independent thought. A robot, like for example, if I program a robot to say, I love you, yeah? If I have a robot and I say like, okay, the robot says, say now to this person, I love you. Yeah. What, whatever the robot is, say, is going through, when it says, I love you, it's not the same as what the human being will ever go through. That's why, you know, these, these movies and these, I don't know, like they got like, uh, what's that called, Blade Runner or something like that, about the future and the robot and the half robot, half human and all that stuff, yeah? The truth of the matter is, a robot will always, will always be machinery. It will never be, like, destroying a robot will never be killing a human being. And the reason, the reason really is, is because of consciousness. Consciousness separates, yeah, machines from human beings, for example. It's a first person subjective experience. A robot can't have that. When, so when the robot, I, 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 I program it to say I love you, it's not actually going through any state, first person emotional state. It's not going through an emotional state when it says that. Even if it looks like it is. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Anytime.